great people of Nigeria, welcome to the Leadership Clinic. Today, I will be speaking to you what I simply titled, Compassion for Service. Love for Service. One of the major requirements for politics is the heart, compassion for the people. Every leader, every prince must love the people that he governs. It will interest you to know that the biggest political gift or skill or value is compassion. Compassion, where you have compassion in your heart to serve people. The driving force will never be what is in this thing for me. The driving force will be how can I put smiles in the faces of the people. The truth of the matter is that for so many years, Nigeria has never experienced a lot of compassionate leaders. Leaders, before they make any decision, they are thinking about the outcome of those decisions and the impact of those decisions on the lives of the people. So people can grow to become leaders who live forever in the heart of people just as a result of the fact that the people perceive them as those who truly served with compassion. You recall, what happened in Argentina in the days of Erita Perón. Erita Perón was the wife of the president of Argentina. When she became the wife of the president, officially as first lady, she developed a pro-poor policy. She was thinking about, it. she had so much compassion on the poor people, that policy for the poor was part of the governance framework. She set up a non-profit organization committed to serving the people and she became so powerful with serving the people she will hug the poor she will take care of their needs in fact if you are sick as a poor person you get actually some money for sick leave when she died you heard the song like don't cry for me Argentina the whole nation wept and it was difficult for them to even bury her body I'm looking at everyone I'm calling on the people of Nigeria or the political class that Nigerians have suffered too much. We want compassionate leaders that can serve this great country. Great people of Nigeria, you must remember, if a man doesn't have a purpose for waking up, sleeping becomes interesting.